the pirate's hat. Each summer, Patrick used to go and stay with his Uncle Max and Auntie Jess, who lived in a tiny cottage by the sea. One rainy afternoon, Patrick was indoors feeling a bit bored. Looking through Uncle Max's bookcase, he found a huge old book about pirates. Patrick settled into a comfy armchair and began to read about one of the most dangerous pirates of all times, one-armed Jake. I'm glad I'll never meet him thought Patrick when he went to bed that night. He's really scary. The next day was warm and sunny and Patrick couldn't wait to go outdoors. He waved to Uncle Max and Auntie Jess who were in the garden. Then Patrick made his way down the steep windy path to the beach. After walking a little way along the sand, Patrick spotted a small gap in the cliff. He'd never noticed the gap before. It was the entrance to a small cave. It's very dark and cold in here, thought Patrick as he stepped inside the cave. He shivered. This feels a bit creepy. Turning to leave, Patrick saw something half buried in the sand. He picked it up and was amazed to see that it was an old and battered pirate's hat. Wow! A real pirate's hat! cried Patrick, putting it on his head. Suddenly, he began to feel very tired. He lay down on the sandy floor of the cave and fell asleep straight away. When he woke up, Patrick quickly realised that he was no longer in the cave. He was lying on the deck of a ship in the middle of a huge battle. The roar of the cannon was deafening and all around him men were yelling and fighting with swords. They were pirates! Patrick felt scared and quickly hid behind a wooden barrel. Sudden, a hand pulled Patrick out of his hiding place. He found himself staring into the eyes of a pirate with only one arm. It's one arm, Jake! thought Patrick with horror. Come with me, lad! We've got work to do! shouted one arm, Jake fiercely, and he pushed Patrick roughly to the side of the ship. Bobbing around in a small rowing boat in the sea below were two more pirates. Between them was a large wooden chest. Get in the rowing boat, lad. No funny tricks, mind. I'll be right behind you, snarled one-armed Jake. He pushed Patrick down a rope ladder and into the waiting boat. One-armed Jake followed swiftly behind. Row, me shipmates! Row! yelled one-armed Jake. Where are we going? asked Patrick. To the beach to bury my money. See this chest, lad? My old enemy, Captain Saltwater, wants to steal it from me. That's what all the fighting's about. One-armed Jake opened the box and Patrick couldn't believe what he saw. Hundreds of gold coins lay glinting inside. From the corner of his eye, Patrick noticed a single gold coin in the bottom of the boat. He quickly picked it up and put it in his pocket, hoping that none of the pirates had been watching. When they arrived at the beach, Patrick and the pirates dragged their heavy chest towards a nearby cave. They dug a deep hole, 
dropped the chest into it and covered it with sand. Captain Saltwater will never get his hands on my treasure now, <laughs> laughed one-armed Jake. What about the boy? He knows exactly where the treasure's hidden, growled one pirate who had a huge scar across one cheek. He could tell anybody where it is, or even come back and steal it for himself. That's true, yelled one-armed Jake, looking at Patrick with his cold eyes. Maybe we should bury him with the treasure. Now Patrick felt really frightened. But before we do anything, continued one-armed Jake, the boy's got something of mine. Oh no, thought Patrick. He knows about the coin in my pocket. Patrick trembled. I'm in for it now. The boy's got my favourite hat, roared one-armed Jake and grabbed it off Patrick's head. At that moment, there was a huge flash and Patrick closed his eyes. When he opened them again, the pirates were nowhere to be seen. Patrick was lying alone in the cave, with one-armed Jake's hat by his side. Everything seemed to be back to normal again. Patrick sat up and rubbed his eyes. What a scary dream, he thought, and yet it seemed so real. Patrick picked up the hat and ran back up to the cottage to tell Uncle Max and Auntie Jess what had happened. How terrifying! I'm glad it was just a dream, said Uncle Max after listening to Patrick's story during tea. All of a sudden, something fell out of Patrick's pocket. When the three of them saw what it was, they all gasped with surprise. There, on the floor, glinting in the sunlight, lay a shiny, bright gold coin.